Guys, so far in this course, I have told you about a lot of things. In this video, we are gonna touch upon a very important concept as far as Python is concerned and as far as file handling in Python is concerned. We're gonna be looking into how to handle files in Python. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I am gonna be creating a new file here and I will say tutorial and let me call it uh, 26 it is 26 tutorials so i'll say tutorial 26.py and i will have this new file open so in this video we'll talk about file handling and what file handling is is something which is important so what i'll do is i'll say file handling is working with file programmatically using python so we'll see how to read files We'll see how to create a file, we'll see how to update files, and we will see how to delete a file in Python. So, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be starting with this open function. And what I'll do is, I'll simply say, let me call it first file dot txt, and I'll say f is equal to open first file dot txt. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna open first file dot txt for reading. So let me create this file here. So I'll say first file dot txt. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'll say this is my first file which I will be using in tutorial 26 of Python course at programming with Harry. So what I'll do is I'll simply uh, go back to my program and I am gonna be explaining you how to read content of a file. So what I'll do is I'll simply say f is equal to uh, open first file.txt and I'll simply say f dot read and I'm gonna be assigning it to a variable. I'll say content is equal to f dot read and I'll say print content and if I run this program you will uh, see that I have activating extensions prompt here and first time we open a file uh, it uh, actually takes a lot of time I don't know why for some reason if I have this Visual Studio code already open and I am already working with couple of Python files I'll not be uh, seeing this error uh, not error, I'll not be seeing this delay. Uh, anyways, we are here and we are seeing the uh, output. Uh, this is my first file, uh, which is the content of the file, first file.txt. So I have the content of my file here. However, this is still incomplete program. And I'll tell you what, uh, what, what is the thing that is making it incomplete. So before that, let me close this one and let me comment uh, each of the steps we took to open this file. So I'll say create a file pointer. Then I'll say read the content contents of the file. And I'll say print the contents of the file. So I'll say print the content of the file. So whatever is contained in the file uh, will be displayed and it will be assigned to the content variable and you can always print it. But I'm saying that this is still incomplete because whenever you open a file, you should always say f dot close to close the file. And this is really a very good practice and uh, you should adhere to this practice. This is because you, uh, you will come up with a lot of scenarios where you'll have to play around with a lot of files. And I don't want you to open the file and leave it open. I want you guys to close it using this close function. Now this program uh, is a perfect program to read a uh, content of a file and print it on the output screen. So if I run this program, you'll see this is my first file and I will be using uh, that, I'll, which I'll be using in tutorial 26 of Python course at programming with Harry. So if I create a bunch of new lines here and if I press Ctrl S and I run this program once again, you'll see these new lines appear in the output window. So this is how pretty much it works. But again, when you say f is equal to open first file.txt, uh, you just specify the name of the file and uh, and you simply read the content of the file. So this was the bare minimum program. I'm gonna be telling you about one more thing, uh, which is second argument of open function. And by default, the second argument is read as text. So I'll get back to this uh, once I explain you what kind of modes we have while opening a file. So if I say R, 
it means that I want to open this file for reading. If I say A, it means that I want to open this file for appending, which means adding more content to the file. If I say write, it means that I just want to write, I, I want to start afresh and I want to write to this file. And if I say X, then it creates the file and it returns an error if that file uh, exists already. So we'll see all these uh, modes one by one. So first mode is pretty clear. If I say R, first mode is pretty clear. I have already explained you about this. But if I talk about the write mode, and if I say F is equal to open this and I'm opening it as write, so let me uh, do one thing. Let me again uh, press Alt and let me bring this line down and let me close this one as well and this is a bare minimum program bare minimum program to open a file I'll simply comment this one control s to save and I'll also comment this one because I don't want to see my console cluttered so what I'll do is I'll say okay f is equal to open this for writing it creates a file pointer and it will write it will try to write to that file and I'll show you how to write so what you can do is you can use this write function you can say f dot write and you can say so okay so if I press backspace if I open this it is telling me that write function will accept a text variable which is a string and this will write this string to the file so if I say this is a good boy Kind of let's just save and have dot close to close and if I run this program it will simply read the content of the first file and then it will write this is a good boy to this file so if I open this file here you will see this is a good boy so this is how you write to a file again uh, we can talk about uh, other two modes if I say a okay so if I run this program once again all over again you'll see that first file is this is a good boy and the previous content has been cleared up so when I say write, I start over and write to the file. I don't append to the end of the contents uh, that are already there in the file. So what I'll do here is I will simply uh, run this program once again, but now with the append mode, I'll say A. And what this will do is it will add more content to whatever the file contains. So if I keep running this program, you'll see that uh, this is a good boy, this is a good boy, this is a good boy, will be concatenated again and again and again, uh, as long as I press this uh, run button to run this program. So if I run it 10 times, uh, this is a good boy will be concatenated 10 times and I don't want to do that. So this is how append mode works. Now you know what append mode is. I'll tell you uh, about bunch of modes that we discussed modes uh, of opening a file and I'll simply say um, the first mode is the read mode and this is pretty clear and you can specify r as the second argument to the write function second function second uh, mode is the append mode and I'll simply say a and this will add content to the end of the file and this will this will simply read the content of the file and we have a uh, we have a uh, write mode and this will simply i should have mentioned write mode first but again i know you guys are smart enough to figure that out that we write to a file and then we append. You can always use append mode, but if you use append mode, it will keep on appending to the end of the file. So this is how it works. Write content to the to the file, to the file. So it's like clears the file, clears the content of the file and writes content to the file. And we have the last one which is nothing but create mode and you can use X for create mode and what this will do is it will create the file and return error if that file already already exists okay control s to save and you will have to select it and comment it because we don't want to see errors 
this this will technically throw an error if i do not comment this one so what i'll do now is i'll simply run this program once again to show you guys that it works if i say capital this is a good boy and if i add backslash n control s to save and if i clear this file so i'll say okay my file contains nothing okay and if i keep on running this program one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty okay so we have done it plenty of times and you'll see that 20 lines have been printed here so we simply uh said to our python interpreter hey python interpreter we want to add this is a good boy and a new line character to the end of this file my python interpreter will say all right harry let me do that for you so it will go to the file open the file it will add the string that i've given to the write function to the end of the file and will keep on doing that until i keep running this program so i hope this is clear and you are now clear with the four modes i discussed about so we have read mode we have append mode we have write mode and we have a uh, create mode so this is something i wanted to talk to you about now again you can always say a a t and by saying a t you are saying that i want this file to be handled as a text now if you say a b you are saying that i want this file to be handled as a binary file so you can specify t and b in the second argument but you'll not use the binary mode most of the times but again i have wanted to tell you so let me write it here so if we add t or b to the end of the second argument we can specify whether we want to whether we want to open the file as a text file or binary file respectively so if we add t this character or this character to the end of the second argument we can specify whether we want to open the file as a text file or a binary file so i'll simply give you an example example uh, sorry so f open this dot txt a b will open in append mode as binary so i want to give you enough examples so that you don't face any problem while running the code and i want you guys to practice as much as you guys can so i hope this cleared the basics of file io and now you'll be able to handle files in python so what i want you guys to do is go to my channel and access this playlist from the description or from the channel playlist page i want you guys to access this playlist bookmark it safely and save it somewhere so that you don't lose it i'll be adding more and more videos to this playlist and you guys can complete this course uh, along with me and i'll be giving you a bunch of exercises quizzes and i'll be making things crystal clear for you so if you guys like my work uh, make sure to hit that like button and also if you want to see more courses you can always go to the channel and you can browse for more courses that way you'll have a list of all the courses that i am working on thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you like this video and i will see you next time